What does being the number one tennis player in the world taste like? Well, I don't know, it's kind of a little bit something like it would be. Yeah, that's it. Vegemite, tastes like Australia. Want a lesson? Yes. Yeah. Forehand. Backhand. Overhead. Okay, we're ready to play. I never hit the court without protecting myself with Banana Boat Sport, and neither should you. Banana Boat, protect the fun. One in three girls give up on sport. Why? Oh, sports clothes are not flattering on girls. I got told I was too short to play. Girls aren't strong enough to play sport. Catch! I just don't feel like I'm good at sport. But I don't care. Don't let the voices get you. I play for me and you play for you. I believe everyone is on a unique journey and mine's no different. I've never been afraid of hard work. Whether I win or lose a match, I'm hungry to improve. As a 20 year old, when I came back to tennis, I did it on my terms and it seems to be working. For me, it's always been about not being afraid to do what I feel is right. Having people beside me on the road today and knowing they'll be with me tomorrow has meant so much. Winning the French Open and reaching number one in the world was incredible, but it's the journey, not the destination, that I'm enjoying the most. At the end of the day, it's only a tennis match. If I win, great, but if I don't, the sun will still come up tomorrow. Who knows what's next for my team and I, but we'll continue to do it our way. I used to wonder what set me apart. The answer is in my DNA. I discovered I'm 13% Moana, 31% Simba, and 56% the Hulk. Which some people were surprised about. But sometimes, we all lose our cool. Fiddlesticks. <laughs> What's your Disney Plus DNA? Ash smash. <laughs>